गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज़ टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो दिस इज बेसिकली योर पार्ट नंबर लाइक थर्ड बिकॉज इन द पार्ट नंबर वन आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन द सेकेंड पार्ट आई हैव टोल्ड यू द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लाइक आई हैव कवर्ड वन और टू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम देन इन पार्ट नंबर थ्री आई टेल यू अबाउट द नेक्स्ट और यू कैन सी द फोर्थ टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दैट इज नेटवर्क ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ओके so first of all you just check your syllabus if you have any kind of confusion so you just check your syllabus uh, your unit number 1 is all over totally complete and uh, i have uh, i have covered all the topics of unit number 1 now in unit number 2 like uh, this part has been covered in previous video lectures and uh, like uh, in case of number system uh, i have told you about all types of conversion from these four uh, basic conversions or from these four number systems okay now uh, the uh, part which is left is like r's complement r minus 1's complement then the conversion of one number system to another uh, this part i have told you then bc number system uh, gray code and conversion from binary to gray code and in case of data representation i have to told you like what do you mean by signed magnitude representation and how to find ones complement and twos complement this part is left so you don't get confused because this part i'll cover after completing this unit number 3 okay first of all we will complete this unit number 3 because uh, because i have already told you some topics of unit number 3 so don't get confused you just come directly uh, in this unit number 3 i'll tell you first of all the all types of operating system okay so and this part that is of ms dos with basic commands this is basically your practical session okay so this part will be cover in the practical session okay this part will be cover in the practical session i'll tell you uh, this uh, session in the lab lectures because this is basically the practical part uh, so uh, that is why i have started this topic like from unit number 3 uh, like functional knowledge of operating system the introduction of operating system the different examples of operating system i have told you then the functions of operating system types of operating system so these are basically like you are doing uh, or you are learning in the video lectures Uh, so uh, like uh, if you check your video lectures previous video lectures of related to operating system there are only two uh, types of operating system uh, like left so one is network operating system and the uh, next one is uh, time sharing operating system or you can say the real time operating system time sharing i think done real time operating system is left so this part will be covered in the like video lecture uh, of today or maybe in the next video lecture okay so after completing this uh, unit number 3 i'll tell you about uh, this part which is left in the unit number 2 done so don't get confused first of all you just cover this unit number 3 so let us move like uh, the next type of operating system that is network operating system so basically network operating system what do you mean by the, uh, this operating system like we are having one server and uh, that server is connected to multiple computers basically whenever the name come like network operating system then i think you should have an image in mind like we are having one network uh, we are having one operating uh, like uh, computer system by having one operating system like who is serving to different different co connected computers okay so in the definition part we can say that network operating system is like a software because operating system is a kind of system software that is why you are saying that uh, it is like a software that is installed on the server side on the network infrastructure okay basically the network operating system will work on the server side okay this point should be noted that this network operating system will be will work on server side and it basically provides several functional functionalities for managing the data uh, applications security and other functions why you are saying so because you are saying that you are having one operating system uh, at the server side and different different operating system or different different computer systems are connected with the server so basically this server is providing different kind of applications to these computer co like connected computers 
and different types of services can be like if you want to print uh, means you can share you can share only one single device you can share one single application which is installed on the server side so that is basically the network operating system like you just take one example of printer like you are having only one resource of printer and uh, like the connected computer wants to wants to get some prints so what you can do what you can do you can give command from the client side and automatically the command will goes to server side like in this uh, centralized operating system this command will go and after that you will get the print out okay means you are sharing the single resource you are sharing single applications by connecting the lan means local area network basically you are taking the you know, like one network now so that you can uh, access the network uh, like you can access the internet so that uh, network is called lan means local area network so uh, all these computers are connected with this lan or you can say these are connected with internet work systems then only like the interconnected computers will work then only the network operating system is will work okay that means in network operating system lan is very much important because you have to get connected with the one kind of network then only this operating system will work smoothly okay so the basic thing uh, like why we use this network operating system is to share the data like if we want to share the data then you can use this network operating system by like uh, if you want to share printer access if you want to share some other devices also okay so in that case network operating system is used i think the concept is clear like why we are using this network operating system and now if you come uh, like uh, novel netware uh, if you have heard this name so basically this was introduced as the first network operating system okay if uh, like one example uh, if one question come in mcq also then you can write uh, like dash was introduced as a first network operating system in 1983 so then you can write like novel netware was uh, first uh, was the first network operating system which was introduced in 1983 so if uh, we talk about some more examples then we can see that uh, novel netware as you know then windows nt means windows network nt stands for network okay windows nt 2000 then linux is one of the like um, best example of network operating system then unix also unix and linux works on network operating system and sun solaris uh, also work um, with the uh, like this technology so this is one example of network operating system so these are some of the examples you can write it in your notebook and uh, if you check the like uh, framework or the picture for network operating system then you can have a look like uh, this is one server side operating system and uh, number of client uh, or network operating systems are connected with uh, this server side computer okay and uh, you these all computers are sharing the resources provided by this centralized computer system or the centralized network operating system okay just like you can take the example of printer you can take the example of some applications which are installed in this computer system some of the like uh, if you want to access the data of this computer then or uh, even though uh, if you want to access the data of some other connected computers then you can do so okay and this is possible only with the help of network operating system so this is one of the advantage of it that by having only one single resource what we are doing we can access all the things that that means uh, somehow you are managing the resources an operating system that provides the connectivity among a number of autonomous computers is known as network operating system in a simple word you can write like an uh, like a network operating system that uh, a network operating system which provides the connectivity among a number of autonomous computers like this is called a network operating system and basically these all are connected with a internet network or you can say a lan means local area network
then only you can access this network operating system features so if we talk about like some of the features of network operating system then these are as follows like uh, i think you got to know that what can be some features of this network operating system i'm just telling you you just check it like it allows multiple computers to connect so that they can share the data they can share the files and they can share also the hardware devices okay i think you have understand like how this is possible because i have already told you in the definition part so, so this is one kind of feature of network operating system then you just check the next uh, feature of network operating system that uh, it provide the basic operating system features such as support for the processor obviously support for protocol support for automatic hardware detection support for multi processing of applications obviously then that means if you are connecting different uh, computer system with the server or with this centralized computer system then automatically these will work like it will provide the support for processor it will provide the support for other applications also so this is one kind of feature of network operating system then the next kind of uh, feature or you can say the characteristics of network operating system is like it provide the security features such as authentication or log on rest restriction and access control means like uh, if you want to log in or log off then obviously uh, as uh, all the computers are connected with some is with the uh, with a single network that means you can provide authentication so basically in network operating system you are having the authentication and you are having the security feature also because login restrictions are also there and access control are within only this network that means your uh, network operating system is secure also then the next uh, feature of this uh, operating system is like you can provide name and directory services means like if you want to create uh, the directory or if you want to change the name of uh, like um, any of the folder drive then you can do so within this uh, connected network operating system because all of the uh, like uh, um, uh, all the computer systems are connected with each other no? that means you are accessing or you can access the files folders or uh, applications for, uh, like from different different computers which are connected with this network that means you can provide the name and directory services also that is why you are you're writing this then some more features of net network operating system are like it provide the user management and support for log on and log off user management is also there a remote access is there system management ad administration auditing tools graphical interfaces these all are there uh, within this uh, network operating system then it has the internet working feature for example routing obviously because this is one basic feature of network operating system if you will have the network or internet then only this network operating system will work so this is basically the basic need of network operating system and you can include it in features also and uh, the next feature that is it provides file print web services and backup services also so this is one kind of feature of network operating system and according to these features uh, you can write the advantages and disadvantages also and it also provides support for internet working such as routing and wan supports basically like uh, by connecting with this network you can uh, like perform different number of applications you can perform different number of web services so that is how you have written and uh, on on the basis of these characteristics or on the basis of these features you can write the advantages and disadvantages so what can be the advantages you just have a look that it is highly stable and uh, highly stable centralized server highly stable as centralized you can say so because one centralized server is working here and uh, basically this centralized server is providing all kind of services to the connected like uh, client operating system so that is why you can see that this is one of the advantage 
that it is highly stable centralized server security concerns are handled through servers so this is one of the uh, another advantage the new technologies and hardware upgradation are easily integrated to the system if it is done in the server side then automatically it will be it will it will get access by the other computers also then uh, the next advantage is like server access are possible remotely from different location and the different types of systems means if uh, like uh, the different different operating systems are connected with the uh, this uh, server network operating system that means you can remotely access all kind of uh, like features all kind of applications all kind of files and folders whether you are having like different on different different locations so this is one of the advantage and if you talk about the disadvantage then obviously the server is very costly because the server is performing each and everything secure he's uh, like the server is providing the security feature like if you are upgrading something then obviously it is getting updated uh, all the clients also that means the server is very costly so this can be one of the disadvantage that it is very costly but it is providing different kind of features with the help of the server so uh, this can be the advantage and uh, like in case of network operating system user or the client has to depend on central location for most of the operation obviously because all the tasks are being performed by the centralized server that is why you have to be dependent on the centralized server so this is one of the disadvantage of this network operating system and obviously because the server is costly that means the maintenance is very costly and uh, updates are required regularly because number of systems are connected and can be connected with this network that means you have to be update your uh, server regularly and you have to maintain your server regularly because all the connected computers are dependent on this uh, centralized server that is why so this can be one of the disadvantage of network operating system because if centralized server doesn't work properly then obviously the connected computers or the connected operating system will not work smoothly so obviously maintenance is very much important in case of network operating system so these all were the features uh, advantages and disadvantages of network operating system hope you have understood this uh, network operating system so what you do you just learn it and uh, access it learn it and after that you just note it down in your notebook and if there is any problem then we will discuss it in the interactive session so till now thank you so much for your patience and time so thank you thank you everyone